Greetings, it's New Zealand naturopath Eric Backer, author of Candida Crusher and formulator of the Candida range of Candida dietary supplements. We do another case history now. This is a lady, 32 year old lady called Nikki. So again, as usual, I'm going to read a little bit out of my book Candida Crusher and then I'm going to you know, give a bit of narration. I'm going to explain a bit about the case as well. Nikki had her first antibiotics prescribed to her when she was five years of age for minor health concerns like tonsillitis and repeated ear infections. As she grew up, she started to develop bladder infections or cystitis. During her years of boarding school, her doctor prescribed a broad spectrum antibiotic and Nikki was given penicillin twice annually for four years until she was 16. Her skin had started to develop a good deal of acne. At this stage, the doctor again prescribed tetracycline, another antibiotic. At 17, Nikki developed a bad case of bronchitis that left her with a wheeze and the doctor prescribed her with an asthma inhaler a bronchodilator and a preventative steroid inhaler. She also started to develop vaginal thrush when she was 17 and the doctor prescribed fluconazole and she also had regular prescriptions of creams that she applied regularly. At 18 she was given the pill and stayed on it for 10 years until she decided to have a baby when she was 28. It took 18 months for Nikki to conceive when she went off the pill and she had been unable to have a second child due to a case of endometriosis. I've been working with Nikki for the past year to help her overcome Candida. She's gained a considerable amount of weight and was prescribed Prozac for depression last year. This is a typical case I see of a ladder of drugs, a progression of drugs. Can you see what's happened? Antibiotics, antibiotics, you know, increasingly sick and increasingly poor immune response, cystitis, you know, vaginal thrush, endometriosis. It just goes on and on. So I saved this woman from a terrible fate because had she stayed a victim to the medical system, she would have been prescribed more and more and more drugs, all right? The drug merry-go-round goes nowhere. It just leads you to increasing sickness. I may sound cynical, but I'm speaking from nearly 30 years of experience. In the early days, I was very angry and upset with the medical profession, but I've developed, you know, an understanding and an ability to accept the status quo. This is how it is. Most people are hooked into a drug-based system, all right? They're victims to this system. Most people are hooked into symptom prescribing, and that's because doctors have been taught to prescribe for symptoms and never to look for causes. Doctors see anywhere between 30 to 60 patients in a day. They've got no time at all to spend time with you like I have in my consultation room, all right? It's important for me to understand who you are, what you eat, how you live, how you relate to people. Your lifestyle considerations are, are, are critical to me if I'm to find out what the hell happened to you, what was the exciting cause, you know, what started stuff, and what's the maintaining cause. If I can't work these things out, how the heck am I going to get you, you know, to restore, you know, to help give you assistance so your body can restore itself? I can't do that. Purely giving you echinacea for a cough, you know, or, or another or herb or a vitamin for some symptom is as stupid as a doctor giving you antibiotics and different drugs. It's just not really going to get you anywhere. So, in poor <clears throat> Nikki's case, we can see here um, what's really going on here. Endometriosis is not a nice thing to have. One of my doctor friends many years ago went to Canada on endometriosis conference, and she said that the whole three days were talking, were, were spoken about how to get rid of vaginal thrush, different treatments that could be used, because a lot of doctors now are starting to see a connection between vaginal thrush and endometriosis, right? When you get yeast in the vaginal area and you keep applying, you know, creams and applicators to try and cure it or to keep taking uh, diflucan, you know, fluconazole to try and cure it, you're not curing it at all. You're basically just eradicating a symptom. And not only that, in, in, a, in bad cases, you're actually driving the yeast in through the cervix into the endometrium where you get endometriosis, all right? You're going to get infections internally. And uh, these cysts can start forming. You know, these chocolate cysts, and you end up getting abdominal pain. So lots of cases of endo I've seen, in fact, have an origin in vaginal thrush. It's not fair to say that all women with endometriosis have had thrush, but a lot of them have. And many of them had digestive problems or vaginal problems, you know, uh, quite a few years preceding the endometriosis. Endometriosis is just the progression and end result of an earlier condition that the person suppressed and not dealt with properly. And a lot of diseases are like that. They need treating in the early days so they don't become full-blown diseases, you know, after several years. So this patient responded really well to the Candida Crusher program. I had her on antifungal product. I had her on probiotics. 
I made a lot of diet changes with her, we made a lot of lifestyle changes, and now we've got a very satisfied patient who's no longer taking any pharmaceutical drugs. Thanks for tuning in.